Hello, Drum Technique Academy family and members. Today, I, Eugene Rapchenko, have the honor to host this awesome Q&A lesson with the one and only Francesco Paoli from Flash God Apocalypse. Hello, everyone. Hello. Awesome. Thank you very much for being here. It's yeah, thank a you for big pleasure. <laughs> yes. So today, for uh, what you can expect from today's Q&A, uh, today's video, we're going to be covering uh, many things. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be talking about Francesco's hand technique, uh, his uh, approach, stamina, speed, uh, control, everything you need to know about that. We're going to be talking about uh, composing drum parts, composing songs in general, as well as talking about um, staying in shape, his practice routines, how did he prepare for the gig, so to say, okay. which is was, of course, a very challenging task. And uh, when we're going to be going into the hand technique uh, in details, Francesco is going to tell you the main three things you, he thinks you should need to know about the three main key let's say, concepts of hand technique and which he requires to be able to pull off this stuff, you know, in the extreme metal, whatever. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, especially yeah. in the extreme metal. I yes. mean, like, there are three things that helped me a lot for, yeah, sure. for Flash Cut. So. All right. So we're starting with the very first question. Yeah. It comes from Norman. Hello. Hello, Hello Norman. Norman. Yes. Hello, Francesco. How did you build such an awesome stamina with your hands at high tempos? Some of the Flash God Apocalypse songs are so hard to play. How much time did it take you to become so good both on drums and guitar? How did your practice routine with those instruments change over time? Thank you very much. Okay, so three, uh, actually three questions. Yes. So, uh, let's let's go with the first part. Of course. So, the, uh, the first stamina. part is uh, about stamina. stamina. Yeah. So uh, for the stamina, um, yeah, well, I, I think uh, you just said uh, about the three keys, the three things that uh, helped me a lot uh, with the stamina and control, uh, because you can reach like uh, high speeds if you have control. The, the more you control your emotions, the easiest is to uh, reach a uh, high speed and um, also keep it up for a longer time. So um, how much time did it take you to become so good both on drums and guitar? Yeah, well, uh, for somebody oh, who doesn't you, know, Francesco is like one of the biggest uh, inspiration of a multi-instrumentalist multi that I've ever uh, witnessed in my life. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. But by the way, um, it's... Um, uh, that... Um, the, the guitar thing is something that uh, came with um, with my you know l l with learning music. So I started. Um, I think that the, the the thing the main thing is that I always liked the music as um, uh, as a composer. So uh, I always imagine and wish to become a composer. So all the instruments and the ability and the skills uh, for each instrument came with, with time, uh, depending on the necessity of each time. So, for example, the, the guitar is something that they lazingly, let's say, lazingly played forever. You know, I don't even remember when it started. You know, it's like I took it because it was, I had the necessity to have an instrument to, to write metal. And guitar was the easiest way to do it, to to perceive, to um, like and the coolest looking. Yeah, uh, and then uh, for example, drums. When I have to jump on drums because we didn't find like uh, a, a drummer, and um, what I wanted to do was flash it was was playing and like make my uh, career uh, as a musician something solid for real. Um, so I jumped on drums and I sucked for. I, let's say sub sucked for two three years, and uh, the main uh, the main thing was uh, that uh, the the other guys trust me. So I think that the, the real real thing at the very beginning was uh, the trust of the other band mem band members. That that was essential because um, the most of the time we were shitty live. We were playing like very bad. After two three years, I started. No no, it's true. Uh, 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 you know, at the very beginning, we didn't have an, like a standard. That's the thing. Let's say, let, let's put it in, an, in other words. Um, for me, reaching 280 was easy. Because it's a yeah. fucking, it's like something that 
happened. Okay, let's say it like this. And then something like that. Next question from Cameron. Hi, Francesco. I tend to have trouble developing speed in my weaker hand fingers, reaching about 200 BPM and I hit a wall. I kind of push my fingers past that. Do you have any exercises or tips for helping to develop fingers in order to move past that barrier? Thank you for All right, uh, I'm not a finger uh, blaster uh, like the, <laughs> this thing that uh, many of you do like this. Uh, it's something that uh, yeah I can like do it like a little bit, but I've never I've never relied that much on this because uh, I was uh, always kind of felt probably more confident with the wrist uh, driven like motion <laughs> because it helps you to play in uh, different surfaces uh, with much more uh, let's say mm, you i felt more confident that's it so uh, the the finger i i, I use them a lot in the left hand because uh, as i said uh, is more like on the same surface on the snare most of the time and i use the fingers much more uh, but um, i honestly never thought about using the fingers as do you want to know how you can watch this full lesson just sign up at www.drumtechniqueacademy.net drumming as you know is a lot like gravity all it takes is a little push 